Okay, welcome to part five of our GUI dictionary lesson. So far we have a pretty you know, well-functioning GUI. Uh, we've got uh, a dictionary of albums by artists. So the key is the artist and the album is the value. We have, if we click show all, we've got some buttons. It puts them into the list box. If I click an item in the list box, it will show me the album title, so formatted. Um, as we have here in this code, and that was in video four if you missed that. So now what we want to do is for this one is we want to be able to add an item to the list. Okay, so we've got some code here that puts some defaults in. But let's say we wanted to add something to our list. So let's give let's give that a shot. Well, let's think about that first. Um, well, we have input, so we got to input something. So here we have a lit, uh, text entry box, text entry widget. Okay, so. Um, you gotta think about that now. How are we gonna enter the data? Um, because we have two pieces of data. We have the artist and we have the album. So we could create different buttons, like one button, enter artist, one button, enter album. It gets a little bit messy. Um, I could create another entry box. I can have one for the artist, one for the album. That might work. Um, but what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna do it like this. I'm gonna have one box, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna enter the artist, comma, the album. So I've got all the data on one line, and I'm using a comma. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that information, I'm going to split it at the comma. So the left side is the artist, the right side is the album. Let's see how we do that. Okay, so first we're going to need to add a button to that. So let's go ahead and do that. Again, I'm just going to copy what we got here, and this is going to be called add one. Again, spelling is important. Um, I create a function called add one. Okay. And the function is going to go up here to define. Let's do pass and just see that that make sure that works before we go any further. Okay, so we got my button. Doesn't do anything because we haven't programmed it, but we're about to change that. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is we need to get the info out of that uh, out of that text entry widget. So to do that, we use info, and again, I could have called this x, I could have called it y, but um, it's called info and text input because again, this comes from here. The name of our entry widget is txt underscore input, and we use the get method, and that's it. So now info equals whatever we entered into the uh, text entry widget, and that's going to be a string. So now what we got to do is we got to split the info. And again, I didn't have to call it this, but it makes sense. So info dot split, and we're splitting it at the comma. So if you recall, when we split something, and it goes into a variable, this variable becomes a list. So list item zero, list item one, because we're going to have two things hopefully. So to make it clear, artist equals split info zero, because that's the first item on the list. The album equals split info one, that's the second item on the list. We use lists. And now what we gotta do is we're gonna add it to our dictionary. So our dictionary was called albums from way up here. The artist is the key, and the album is the value. So we've added it to our dictionary. And then what we need to do is we need to actually update. Well, let's, let's run that, see what happens. OK, so if I run it, so I'm going to click uh, Show All, Billy Bragg. If I click add one, okay, so we've got an error there. I spelled album wrong. <laughs> it's a uh, album, not ablum. Okay, let's try that again. So, 
That's actually it's show all first. Workers playtime. So if I add one, okay, nothing happens here. But now if I click show all, it's on the list. Okay. So what I want to do is I want to make sure that's automatic. Uh, and notice this is still here, so we want to get rid of that. So we already have a function that shows everything. It's called show all. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to call that function show all. Oops, let's show underscore all. And the other thing I want to do is I want to make sure that that box is cleared, uh, the text entry box is cleared. So I use the delete method, input, oops, dot delete. And I'm going to start at zero and go to the end and delete everything in it. If I run that, okay, so looking at the code, show all. I'm going to type Billy Bragg, comma. Okay, so notice. So I go info equals text input get. So info now equals this string. Split info is a new variable, and I split info. So it, because it's split, I have two items. Two items will go into a list. I split at the comma. So the artist is split item zero split info zero and the album is split info one so again my dictionary is called albums artist is the key album is the value I use the function show all to update the list box and then I delete what's in here so to add one so I can add as many as I like uh, but I'll give you uh, let you try that on your own okay, and I think that's that kind of explains the basics the key thing to keep in mind is you're inputting, where does the input come from? So in this case it comes from this uh, entry box. It also comes from here, so if I click something. Um, and then my output is going here, but it's also going here sometimes. So you gotta think about where the information is going to appear for the user. And note, one really important point is we're actually modifying the dictionary itself. So in this case, we're updating the dictionary and then displaying everything later. So the key thing here is, so when you're deleting something, you're also going to be deleting it from the dictionary, and then just use the show all to show what remains in the dictionary. Um, this kind of is a nice separation of your code. Uh, it makes it a lot easier to work with. Okay, that is it.